Hi. I got a good question the other day in the comments of one of my YouTube videos about the chromatic sequencer. The comment was basically, really cool device, but how do you record what you make with it as either a MIDI or an audio clip? It's a really good question, but before I answer it, a few details about what the chromatic sequencer is and what it isn't. The chromatic sequencer is a Max for Live MIDI device, so it doesn't create any audio. It just triggers MIDI messages to either a virtual instrument or a hardware instrument, like a desktop synth or a Eurorack. It basically takes the place of a keyboard, telling the instrument what notes to play and when. But you can record the audio it creates, and you can record the MIDI signals it sends. Here's how. Okay, so here I've got an Ableton project, and on the second track, I have the chromatic sequencer driving sending MIDI information to the external instrument device, which is sending the MIDI data out of my interface, to a Eurorack that's sitting in front of me, and then the audio from that is coming back in through this device and into the channel mixer. When I turn on the chromatic sequencer, it sounds like this. And you can hear it's being processed by some reverb and delay through the sends. And I'm gonna play some, just a simple drum track for a sense of time. Okay, great. So now how do I record the audio or the MIDI that's being generated by the chromatic sequencer? Well, next to the Eurorack track, I just have a blank audio track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the audio from the Eurorack track to go into this one. If I click record, you can see the audio is mirroring what's happening on the Eurorack track. So if I record a clip, it'll start recording the audio that's coming from that track. Pretty straightforward. Once I've recorded enough, I can stop the clip. Okay. And now I've got an audio track mirroring that. If I turn off the chromatic sequencer, I just play the audio track. It sounds pretty similar. I've just recorded a snippet of what the chromatic sequencer created. So how do I how do I turn that into MIDI data though? So if you right-click on the audio clip you say convert melody to new MIDI track. What it'll do is it'll turn that audio signal into the equivalent MIDI data. It takes a minute to do this, and then it'll put it on a new track right next to it. Boom. Here, I have a MIDI clip that looks just like the audio that I created. And what you can do is you can either manipulate this data, you can ma manipulate the MIDI notes and the sense of time, or you can just move the clip to a new instrument that you want to use. You can use it to mirror the, uh, double the sound that you're creating from the synth, or you can just use it as a means of recording the snapshot of something from the chromatic sequencer that you liked. And that's it. Now you've got audio data, or you've got MIDI data that you can use in order to process, process it separately. And that's it. The Chromatic Sequencer is a free Max for Live device. You can download it from the link in the description below. If you like this video, please cl click subscribe and watch any of the other videos I have on other Max for Live devices. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy.